say Merry Christmas, everybody. Woo. You do not know what is going on right now, huh? Merry Christmas. Welcome to the last holiday video and the last video of this year. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Um, do you want my chapstick? <laughs> oh, I should have grabbed you a marker to play with, with the cap on, not with the cap on. There you go. There's something to hold. She's a little sleepy, so hopefully she'll fall asleep, but we'll see. Um, welcome back. Happy holidays. Hope you all are having a great holiday season or had a great holiday season whenever you watch this. Today we are watching The Man Who Invented Christmas. So this is set in 1843 London. Author Charles Dickens finds himself in financial trouble after writing three unsuccessful novels in a row. Desperate for a hit, Dickens relies on real-life inspiration and his lizard imagination to bring Ebenezer Scrooge, Tiny Tim, and other classic characters to life in A Christmas Carol, forever changing the holiday season into the celebration we know today. So, um, I'm really excited for this movie. I actually just watched the trailer again this morning, and it looks funnier than I remember thinking it was going to be when I um, planned to watch this movie. But I, I mean, I hope everybody knows, like, A Christmas the Christmas story. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to see kind of like behind it. And I don't really know much of anything about Charles Dickens. Have I, I don't even know if I've actually read any of his work, which is like really sad now that I think about it. Um, so I'm excited to learn a little bit more about him and kind of see behind the story that we all know. So as usual, there may be times where you just see my reaction to scenes and not the scenes themselves. I don't want to give away big scenes or the ending of the film. And let's get started for it. Let's get started <laughs> with the man who invented Christmas. Are you ready? You ready? You're just looking at the boogeyman in the window, huh? That's okay. Let's go. I'm guessing this is a dream. Because I think at this point, like, people don't really know who he is. Oh, that didn't last long. Oh. What the heck was he doing there then? I'm very confused. It's Professor Sprout! From Harry Potter! Mr. Foster, like you, we are as puzzled as the Egyptians in their fog. A masterpiece of the picaresque genre, and yet Barnaby Rudge, a fine book, and what a son. But not a word of this to Charles to hear. Somebody was selling his signatures? That's weird. Thought he wasn't even famous yet. I had to give up the baby, but it was fun while it lasted. An explorer. Paddling a canoe somewhere in the wilds of Canada, a pair of buckskin breeches. Would I lay them? Their nappies change. Sounds awesome. Master Corporal Skittles, sir, on your feet, sir. Was Christmas like going out of style or something in the mid 1800s? Christmas is all to be the one time of year when men and women open their shut up hearts and think of the people below them as if they really were fellow passengers to the grave and not another race of creatures altogether. Don't have friends, don't need them. Uh, 
What did his father do to get exiled? That was a chandelier. Do you know the ways and lengths of the chain you burnt yourself? Wow. That's really thought provoking. Do you know the weight and length of the chain you carry? Stand up tall. Blood of iron. Power of ice. Huh? They, they, what? They took his wife and You're one child too? A gentleman. They sent him to a workhouse. Good morning. You were tossing and turning all night. His father had to pay back his debt. And they weren't going to have his mother or sister work. Oh, he's in, he's in, he's in the Phantom of the Opera. He's one of the guys that buys the, the, the theater. It's not a very good Christmas story if he was going to leave it like that. Where Scrooge doesn't change and just lets everything happen. A blockage? Now that's just a fact. That's an interesting way of putting it. How am I just now seeing the parallels between the them? Shadows of the things that will be. Are there shadows of the things that may be only? Uh, not you as well. It's a Christmas book. Yeah, it shouldn't it be hopeful? I mean, is that what, what, what Christmas is all about? The, the hope that in the end, our better natures will prevail. Oh my gosh, who's so dramatic? Do what I do as a friend. Could he become a different person overnight? What was so evil about Well, it's over three nights, but yes. He's a miser. Well, that doesn't make him evil, it just makes him cheap. He worships money. It's the only thing that matters to him. Why? I feel your characters matter more to you than your own flesh and I do really like this. Oh, I do like that chandelier. Yay! Oh, I've been waiting for that since the park scene. collected my thoughts um there were a couple of things like really got me in that movie the whole the whole thing with the chains and like the chains that you make and the chains that you carry and do you know the weight and the length of the chains and what I thought of too is do you know the weight and the length of the chains that you are making and like five years from now what are you going to be carrying from what you're doing right now like whoa um that one was like really got me and then it took me forever to see the parallels between charles dickens and ebenezer scrooge like forever i don't know if maybe they were a little bit more discreet about it and then became like really obvious towards the end and like that's when i could finally pick it up but like i feel like i should have gotten that much closer to the beginning than i did but when I finally got it, I was like, it, I mean, it's just that whole thing of, like, 
you know, seeing yourself in the mirror, like who actually are you and like the things that you're afraid of or the things that you don't like in other people are like what you're hiding in yourself. Um, got that. Maybe that was just my own like mental thing going on. But those were like two, I mean, it's the whole lesson of A Christmas Carol, which I love and you know, how, like, how have you grown and what other situations are happening right now and where is your current, like, life course going to take you and bringing love and kindness and generosity and sharing, like, into others and I really appreciate it at Christmas time. I feel like it's a lesson that could be relearned throughout the entire year. Um, but this was like that lesson in this movie and in his story and in his own life. Like, and I just love that reminder, you know? The, <laughs> clearly Storm has not like calmed down since I had her and gave her away because I can't really film with a crying baby. She's crying again. <laughs> Um, if you can hear her, which you probably can, because she's really crying. Um, it's just, it's such a good lesson that, I, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that, like, needs it all the time, but I feel like I need it all the time. Like, to remember to be kind and to be thoughtful and to be grateful and you never know what other people are going through and to always walk gently, not like, walking on eggshells and you're afraid something's gonna crack and break and it's gonna be terrible but like to be gentle and to be generous and to be open and I just I just need that reminder all the time and this movie was a fabulous reminder of that and like you are not the only one in this world like it, in a sense I think we all are kind of our own worlds like I'm the only one that I'm gonna go my entire life with type of thing but we are not the only ones in this world. Like, I live with three other human beings and two cat beings. Like, every, like, everything affects everything. And the way, like, what you put out is what you get back. And so, like, why not give out so much good, you know? I just, like, constantly need to be reminded of that and, like, recentered almost. Um, because I totally get in my own head and anyways I'm just I could go on and on but I just it was such a great reminder um, of all of that of what a Christmas Carol is about and in his own life and yeah I really enjoyed it so that was a Christmas Carol um, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this and I hope you have or had a Merry Christmas and I hope that you continue to remember the spirit of Christmas all throughout the year because I think it's a fabulous thing that we could carry with us all year long so that was that and I will see you guys next week for the new year and uh, yeah we'll see what's coming so have a good night everyone <laughs>